Hey, I'm Dr. Kent DeLay. I'm a board certified urologist in South Carolina. And today we're going to talk about Zyaflex. So Zyaflex is a therapy for Peyronie's disease. It is intralesional therapy for Peyronie's. So let's break that down. What does it mean? What is Peyronie's disease? So Peyronie's disease is a buildup of collagen in a layer of the penis called the tunica albiginia. The tunica albiginia actually holds together the corporal bodies and contains the blood that fills the penis during an erection. This layer normally has some elasticity, meaning it can stretch which is what allows the penis to expand during an erection. So the collagen forms a plaque or a buildup of scar tissue that is inelastic, meaning it doesn't allow for normal expansion in that spot. So that causes curvature, can cause an indentation, can cause penile shortening, can cause what's called an hourglass deformity, can have a variety of manifestations. So that's Peyronie's disease, but it is a buildup of collagen that causes a deformity. So what do I mean by intralesional? So intralesional means that instead of giving you a medicine that goes throughout the body, we're actually targeting the plaque with an injection that goes directly into it. And that's what Zyaflex does. So what is Zyaflex? So that is an intralesional therapy into the Peyronie's plaque with a collagenase, meaning it is an enzyme that breaks down collagen. So it is specifically to break down the abnormal tissue in the tunica albiginium. So when this happens, this allows for softening of the plaque and reduction in the curvature. So before Zyaflex, we didn't actually have an FDA-approved medical therapy for Peyronie's disease. People have tried oral medications or pills. They've tried verapamil injections into the plaque. They've tried interferon injections. And there's mixed efficacy amongst the injections, very little efficacy amongst the pills. But bottom line is this is the first FDA-approved treatment that went through a randomized clinical trial. So... The clinical trial was done a number of years ago, and what they found was that compared to placebo, men had a significant improvement in their curvature. Okay, what does significant improvement mean? So with Zyaflex, men on average had a 17 degree improvement in curvature. So think about that. 17 degrees is improvement, but some people might consider it a fair bit of improvement. Others might think it's not much improvement at all. And what I've found is it really depends on what the starting curvature is. So think about if you have a 35 degree curve to start with and get a 17 degree improvement, you've cut it in half. If you have a 90 degree curvature to start with and get a 17 degree improvement, eh, you might not be too impressed with the outcome. So I always counsel men to think about what type of improvement would constitute success for you. So we've probably gotten better at Zyaflex since the clinical trials, and I would say more often than not, we're getting 20, 25 degree, maybe even 30 degree improvements in a lot of men. But still, that isn't complete resolution. So Zyaflex brings incremental improvement for most men. There are about 30% of men who don't really respond at all. So I counsel patients to think about if I got a 20 degree improvement for you, would you consider that success? And if not, then Zyaflex may not be the right treatment for you. Now, that's kind of the background. What are the logistics? So it is a series of eight injections over a six month period of time. So during a given week, you would get two injections and do manual modeling, which will be instructed by your physician after the second injection in the cycle. And then after a six week break, you will repeat that until you've undergone eight injections. Now, if you had significant improvement and you're happy with where your curve was before eight injections, you can certainly stop. But during the clinical trials, the process was to receive eight injections. So Zyaflex is a very common therapy that we use for men with Peyronie's disease without significant erectile dysfunction, meaning that they don't need anything other than pills for their erections. And if they would be, if the patient would be satisfied with incremental improvement of a 20, 25, 30 degrees, then I definitely think it's an appropriate therapy to consider. Oops, I almost forgot to mention side effects. While penile fracture is extraordinarily rare, 
very common side effects include bruising and swelling of the penis. I tell patients to basically expect these as part of the treatment course. While it can be a little bit alarming to look at it first, isn't a big deal and will go away on its own within a week.